Krishna. Uh, this is day four of October lead code challenge. Uh, this problem is all about design hash map. So basically, we need to design a hash map kind of data structure, but we are not allowed to use any inbuilt hash table. So if you know hash map, like basically the important methods are put, get, and remove. So put is nothing but you will be given on key value pay. So if the key is already exists, you need to update the value for that key. Otherwise, you need to make a new entry. Uh, get if it is already there, you need to return the value. Otherwise, you just return the minus one. And a remove is like you just remove uh, that key and its corresponding value uh, from the hash map if, if it exists. So we'll see uh, how we can solve. Before that, let's focus on our uh, constraints. So the key value pair is going to be from 0 to 10 to the power of 6. So one navy approach okay, uh, can be like we can take an array of size 10 to the power of 6 plus 1. Okay, why we are taking plus one because they are saying it's going to be zero to ten to the power of six. So to accommodate this range, it should be plus one. So basically, what we are going to do is so whenever uh, any key is called, okay, like put operation, we'll update the uh, value at that index. Let's assume example. So one, two, three, four. So zero, one, two, three. These are indexes. So uh, someone say uh, two comma four. Okay, this is key and this is value. So we come and update at second index the value as 4. Okay, now when someone call get 2, okay, then we say, uh, okay, take uh, second index value, return 4 if it is exist. Otherwise, we just need minus 1. Okay, and when we say remove, we make this as a minus 1. Okay. This is the what I can say a kind of navy approach. So if we understand this here, uh, the time complexity is going to be big O of one uh, for all the operations like put, get, and remove. Okay, and uh, big O of one as a constant space, uh, it's uh, ten to the power of six plus one. Okay, uh, we'll see uh, quickly how we can solve this problem int data so i am initializing data equal to new int of 10 to the power of 6 uh, let me take it from google or uh, 10 power 6 value okay plus 1 so initially what we can do here is arrays dot fill okay we can initially fill this all the index values with a minus one okay and i will show you uh, how we can going to optimize it more so whenever someone calls put what we need to do is uh, data of key equal to value that's it okay and when someone say return then we just return data of key done so when someone say remove, then we say data of key equal to minus one. Okay, let me give a run. Okay, it ran successfully and let me submit it. Uh, you can see it took 32 milliseconds and it got accepted. But still, we are not convinced with this approach, right? Because why we, why we need to fill this with a minus ones? So if you would like to eliminate this operation, okay, you can happily remove this, but whenever someone calls you insert, just to give plus one and minus one, here it is going to be zero. The reason is like by default, this complete values will complete array will be filled with zeros. Okay. So whenever someone say you, you just say value plus one there, and then key equal to minus one and then data uh, sorry remove equal to zero let's submit this one okay and then submit so you to you see here it took now 15 milliseconds okay the time is half of the time got reduced right but this is not actually the hash map implementation if you ask me this is just a kind of hack i can say okay because uh, we are not exactly doing the how hash map internally builds upon so if you know the internal working behavior of hash map so there is a altogether big story behind that okay so 
we are not doing in that direction but at the end like we were able to solve this problem okay now we'll see quickly how we can implement this uh, actual implementation of hashman so basically what we are going to do here is like we are going to uh, take a class called entry let's assume so it's going to have key value pair so basically what i'm going to do here is i'm going to reverse this array list so it's list of arrays okay arrays of list i mean to say so basically what i'm going to do here is whenever someone say insert okay put okay let's say one comma one so i come and look at this list okay if index one is already exist i mean is it is it having null or else is it having a value already if it is having a value already okay then what i'm going to do here is since it's array of list right so i take example uh, some uh, list of entry okay uh, data equal to uh, let's assume this is table name okay table of the index let's assume so which will return me the array again because this is a list of arrays so arrays of list so now i am going to iterate through this data okay i am going to iterate through this so if i found any entry where key equal to whatever they passed i am simply going to update it okay and if i don't find anything what i am going to do here is just i am going to add data of index uh, or else you can simply say dot of add okay of whatever the what i can say new thing like new entry of a uh, key value because we are saying here entry is uh, nothing but a class okay so basically what we are going to do here is like we are going to leverage our array list okay and we are going to have the array of list then every time when a put and get happens basically how we are going to find the indexes based on the hash code so if you know uh, internal working behavior of hash map so it finds the bucket okay based on the hash code okay so there is a calculation mechanism behind the scenes so we are going to make it too simple so we take uh, uh, maybe some large prime number that i know is like 769 okay we'll take 769 okay so basically uh, we'll find our hash mo uh, hash code value uh, using this prime number uh, so that it will help us in identifying our index so once we find the index we go and look in this array of list if there are any values or not at that particular index location uh, i mean to say is it null or else is it having some list so if it is having some list we iterate through that and then we'll try to perform our put or get or remove if it is not there okay then we go and insert uh, create a new entry in that particular uh, index location okay uh, i hope like it might be what i can say sounds a bit complex to understand but if i show the code i think it's going to clear all your doubts so i did submitted already this approach a uh, couple of seconds back okay so i am taking this okay so i quickly explain this approach so basically as i said this size equals 769 so there is no hard rule like it should be always 769 i just took 769 because i know this is one of the large prime number and it can help us to avoid the collision okay so that's the only sole reason even even if you take thousand also still that works okay and uh, this is a table as i said like uh, arrays of list okay entry so now my entry class looks like okay it it holds key and value you can see it's a static class then on the constructor calling i am initializing this array with the initial size of 769 because i know the number of uh, what i can say key values less than or equals to number. Yeah, actually it is nothing to do with this okay so i just uh, initialized it then i'm i'm just created a hash method here you see like it takes key okay let's assume someone say one so one more 769 okay someone say 10 10 more 769 
so it depends upon the key then put operation we'll try to see so every time when there is whether it may be put or get or a remove we calculate our index based on this hash okay so now we calculated our index based on this hash method okay we passed our key and it took the size into consideration and then it returned then what we do is we'll check if if okay our list okay at this index having any data or not if it is not that means null there are no example you you can think something like this okay uh, our list uh, it's array of list right so i'm taking something like this so this is list one this is list two this is list three list four and so on so forth so we are trying to find something at five so there is nothing actually it returns you null right because there is no list at that particular position so if it is a null then i'm going to create a new array list at that position so basically if there is nothing then i'm going to create okay let's create a new array list and process our new data here okay now once that is done okay so then what i'm going to do here is i'm going to iterate through that array list so it doesn't mean always this condition is going to be valid so there might be already a list at that particular index okay then this particular if won't be executed then i'm going to iterate through that so then i'm going to iterate through the each entry in that particular array list okay at that particular index okay you see like i'm trying to get based on the index and then i'm going to iterate so wherever if i find any situation where the any entries key equal to whatever we got here okay in that case i am just going to update that entry value that's it and then i am going to return i am going to not do any operation if this is not the case okay then what i am going to do here is whatever i got here okay table index okay at that particular location i am going to perform an add, oper add operation where i am going to create a new entry uh, based upon this key and value that's all the put operation okay now get so get also depends upon this hash method and that is nothing but index calculation first and if it is a null that means there are no what i can say there is no data actually uh, at that given index in that array list okay uh, then we return minus one if this is not the case okay then what we are going to do here is we are going to iterate through all the what i can say entries at that particular index location and if any key entry is equal to uh, entry key is equal to whatever key we got here then we going to return its value okay otherwise then we are going to what i can say return minus 1 so still there is a possibility okay so let's assume this is an array list okay at this index so it having two entries entry 1 entry 2 okay you can check entry 1 entry 2 so but these two entries keys may not be equal to whatever we got here okay so in that case like at the end we return minus one now remove method so again we calculate the index based on this hash method so if it is a null so that means there is no array list at that particular index location then you can simply return you, you don't do anything right because you have nothing to do if it is there okay then you simply remove that entry from that location so that means so let's assume this is the fourth right uh, sorry th third index so if you given something like this so yes there is an entry okay which matches with the key whatever we got in the remove method then completely remove this one we don't need this anymore right so then our uh, this array list okay going to hold only e2 uh, that's all so once you remove that just uh, exit from this uh, loop that's all uh, let's give a run uh yeah it took zero milliseconds seems good yeah it got ran it took 16 milliseconds so this is actually the implementation of hash map the previous ones which we did is it's okay it might be accepted in your online uh, assessments but when you sit in an interview so if you give that answer there are highly chances like interview asks ask you can you please uh, do some sort of actual hash map implementation like where you need to calculate the index and perform this operation so that's why i spent this much time to explain this so if you don't understand anything here please do let me know in the comment section maybe i can create another video video uh, to explain only this uh, method
थैंक यू हरे कृष्ण